What's going on guys? Joe the Chocobo here and welcome back to some more Sky Factory 2.5 and I am back going straight on in to the deep dark once more and we are out of Signalum crossbow bolts and all that good stuff but I'm not I'm not going to try to pick fights all right I'm not here to pick no fights I'm just here to get our booties on over to you know lands of not incredible level of death. Although, I guess the inside of this is also going to be pretty monstrous. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I'm okay when it comes to skeletons. Skeletons do regular bow damage. They don't do anything special. So, that's fine. I'm okay with that. That I, that I can live with, but... Gotta be a wee bit careful about other things. Alright, so, let's go ahead and clear out this little area right on top. I do see that there are some bad, naughty things down there. Um, let's go ahead... I'm going to rip up part of that so I have a quick and easy way out. Alright. And then we're just going to kind of meander about looking through. Now there are normally chests in here. There is loot for exploring the deep dark. And the loot is good, although I'm kind of admittedly a little bit freaked out because they're using, like, weird frequency wood inside of here. That's not terrifying at all! You're totally just, I don't know, freaking not spooky as crap. Holy cow. I'm pretty sure these are modeled after, like, YouTubers or devs and stuff, but, yeah, I, I don't know. Something about them creepily walking towards you, like, hello. I just want to hold on to yourself forever. Just like, eh. no. Shoo. Up. Oh. More skeletons. Ooh, many a skeletons. Many a skeletons. All right, and then. Aha! Now you cannot spawn no mo. And it would be kind of cool to have a dolly for these. Hmm. Here, I'm gonna break the chest so we can get the goodies from the inside. Ooh. Chance cubes, down horse armor, an ordo thingy. I will wear that. Got some bling. Got myself a necklace too. Get myself all kinds of bling. And then yeah, Ender Pearl. Four chance cubes though. That's pretty wild. Alright, four chance cubes, and actually. This is a great opportunity. Nope, no it is not. <laughs> Originally, I was going to be all like, this is a great opportunity for me to level up Daredevil and get Daredevil all the way up to top tier. But then there was not that much wood, and I cried. All right. What if I break that? Nope. Let me see. I think... All right, so... Same dealio. Why do they make them all different frequencies, man? Why got to be this way, game? Playing games with my heart, like, jeez. All right. We have despookified the majority of the area. And giant hallway, totally not terrifying. All right, I'll... Oh, wait, if I, spr uh, when I'm sprinting on this co colored stone brick, it's making purple particles. That's a little bit strange. Hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh, great spiders. Awesome. I don't even want to know what kind of spider that is over there. Oh, these spiders don't appear to be the spoopy spiders. Well, I'm assuming that the one that's hiding in the corner ready to ambush me is probably a spooky spider. <laughs> Right here. What if I take the ground from underneath you, huh? That's right. Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, it's compressed spider. Okay, compressed spiders are not that bad. Unless they are possessed by the devil and cannot be hit, in which case they are pretty bad. All right. Aw, they even have hats on. They're so adorable. Minus the whole trying to kill me thing, but yeah. Oh, crap. I am so thankful. At this moment, I am beyond thankful that that was not a super spider. I would have been D-E-D -E -D right there. Alright. There we go. Get some light right next to there. 
Phew. All right. Good stuff. And let me actually get some of this all sorted out here. I think I will take some spider heads. And then break this down. Some iron, a chest, and a common loot bag. Not terribly impressive stuff, but, you know, we'll do the trick. Honestly, I don't even care about the common loot bags either, so... We'll be back. I think I actually might come back here and try to actually obtain some of those uh, spawners with diamond dollies. Because you can do that, I believe. Memory serves. Alright, let's go ahead and torch up this upper area. And then vein mine. Good. Alright, torchy McTorchytons. Oh, no you don't. <laughs> oh, no you don't. Spiders can't even spawn in here. Ooh, what is that? No, I want to know what the... Unknown dimlet. Small step to a big world. Put this unknown dimlet in a dimlet researcher to discover its purpose. Okay, cool. Found something neat. Alright. Everything looking all... Looking quite good in here. Looking quite safe and dandy. And we got ourselves all this. Boop. Uh -huh. Alright. Here we go, man. Here we freaking go. Okay, everything's looking all good here. All looking secure and safe. From all threats, foreign or domestic. Alright, looking good. Ah, another good bit of wood. And again, just doing this so I can get some uh, easy and reliable experience for our little buddy here. He's got a long ways to go. He's got a long ways to go before he turns to a hero, but he's getting there. He's getting towards that OG, OP status. Alright, what we got going on? Hi! Hi! Could you... Yeah, thank you for not being super strong. Hello, room chock full of zombies! How are you? And apparently... One of you guys managed to weasel your way over here. I won't question it. Alright. Executioner. No wonder we're getting so many heads. We're using Executioner. I didn't it didn't occur to me. But yeah, we are we are absolutely using something that is designed to take heads from bodies, so that that would be why we're getting so many heads. Zombie villager head. Alright. Boop. All right, there's a spawner. Ooh, knowledge fragments. Oh, and other stuff too that like actually are kind of nice. Uh, another quartz, kind of whatever. I may keep you. You might be our new scythe. We never made the other scythe. Like I said, that we were gonna make a new scythe at some point. Not that we ever had one, I guess, during this particular season, but, like, yeah, no, I'm down. I'm holding on to that. Well, guys, meet our new scythe. It's a Terra Steel Scythe. Apparently, it's also... Hmm. It's kind of... It's been kind of messed up and stuff. But dope. And this is why we explore the spooky areas of Minecraft. And by Minecraft, it means Sky Factory, because regular Minecraft don't give you none of this bull shrimp. Alright, go ahead and break that down. Alright, let me go explore Marating. Oh, we're living legends. He's getting close. Oh, ah! Woo! That, I don't know why I just, like, cooed at you all. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I did not mean to coo. I turned into a pigeon very briefly there. What? Okay. Um, a thomium home, eh, whatever. Conduit probe, sure, we'll hold on to a conduit probe. Um, do, 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 do. And then there's like this one random skull of someone, Nalcrian. Alright, so overall, finding a decent number of these spawners. I'm actually kind of surprised by how many spawners we're finding. I feel like it's an inordinately large number of actual, excuse me, but actual uh, spawners. Thought there wouldn't be quite this many, but there are quite a few. Alright, over we go. 
Oh, you know what? It <laughs> Hi. I will be back later. I'm going to go this way, where there's not 300 zombies trying to eat my brains. And <laughs> those guys are going to be really disappointed if they ever do. They're going to be like, wow, didn't didn't really have much in there. Just, just one tumbleweed that just keeps on going back and forth for kind of prank purposes. All right, let's go back. All right, let's go. Let's go deal with the giant army of death. And let's actually use this guy. I'm kind of curious. Let's see. Let's see if you're worth it. Okay, so all that it managed to do was catch me on... Oh, nope, never mind. All right, it's two banging him. It's doing pretty good. And lights him on fire. Added bonus. I always do like to see the suffering of my enemies. And then some torchies. Wow, that this room reached around a lot. Holy cow. Alright. And then break this down. A super kawaii desune hat. Ooh, another ring. And I just threw it on the ground like a savage. I will hold on to those books though. But I want that ring, darn it. Give me that ring. Can I just... Yeah, okay, just chomp chomp. Okay. And then... What to toss away? Mm, yeah, I'm coming, loot bag. Daggum, man! Why can't I just hold on to... Okay. Eh. 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 Don't! you think after the ninth time I've done that, I would learn. But, again, tumbleweed. Alright. <laughs> Bobble first, then click. Aha. Alright, let me read what these things have been saying. Um, our team had donated, and this was actually a while ago, but so thoughts on making a Tinker Super Weapon or on the definition of insanity? Just saying. This was back whenever I was dying a whole lot. Seth PRG donated five dollars. I said, call upon... <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> GZ Choco, GZ means grats. The Terra Seal Scythe, it's a late game Batania material. Good job. I would try to make it into ingots if possible. Also, the mob spawners only spawn normal MT mobs. Don't worry. P.S. Read my last donation for comfort. <laughs> Thanks. TY, TY, TY. Oh, man. This, is, this has been an interesting dealio. For those of you who don't know, by the way, Seth PRG was also the same person who was raving about Batania in the previous season of Sky Factory. And we never did get into Batania, because obviously Sky Factory 2.5 came out, but this season, I think we have a fair shot at it. Oh, hey. Can you not? Can you just not? All right. And then go back over. And... According to my map, there are far more mobs, which makes me think that there are far more floors to this than I originally had thought there were. Which is kind of an odd dilemma, but... Alas. I'm running out of torchies. Oh, hi. Ha! You can't reach me! Oh, don't you feel stupid! You can't reach me! Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, that's right. Get wrecked. Alright. Then there's a spawner. Break the chest. Ooh, more of those unknown dimlets. Then, let's go ahead and leave a torchy there. And I guess we'll just go... We'll, we'll just prowl around for... One last spawner chest, which I believe is going to be right there. Alright, so let's open the floodgates. Alright. And then give him the old smackaroo. Okay. Looking darn good. Okay, another safari net. I'll take a safari net. Safari nets are cool by me. We're cool. Alright, so Safari Net. Ooh, there's also. Is that a head? Yeah, that's a head. Never mind. I don't care about heads. I don't care about the heads of my enemies. I'm not a barbarian. 
And then I'm assuming this is going to be another one right over here. Whoa, I'm stuck. I am stuck on a doorway. All right. Man, this is literally just a grinder. Just everything just spooped. There is a creeper in there. And I just broke my light. Ow, ow, ow! The fudge, man! Can you not? All right. I'm trying to do something. Okay. Smack, 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 smack. That's a creeper. Smack, 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 smack. I don't have wooden spikes here to protect me from the explosions. And we know it's room for improvement. All right, so... We still have quite a ways to go, then. We're just on the improvement step, then. We got quite a ways to go. All right, there's some nitor. Dang, this is a big room. And all we got were heads. Disappointment abounds. <laughs> all right, let's... I'm actually going to take the nitor back. I don't want to spend nitor on this nonsense right here. I'll just take the torch out of there. Or not, or the game's gonna be like, ha ha, you thought what now? And I'm just been like, oh, cry face. All right, let's go ahead and put that right there. Should block it, I think. Not the hundred percent sure about these, but I think it will. All right, and then let's go gallivanting, see if we can't sneak up on another spawner room, which seems to be of questionable. likelihood. Man, you get lost in these areas real easy. It is an actual like proper labyrinth in each side in each inside each. Holy macaroni, I English no good. All right. Over here, I guess is going to be the dream of dreams. Hi, guy in a very fancy suit. Would you care to die? All right, spider is down. Other spider is down. More spiders are coming to go down. And then... Break that. More unknown dimlets. Curses. Alright, fine. Fine! You win. You get a Nitor. Ooh, redstone alloy. Um, Electrical steel as well. Wow. They're getting real generous up in here now. Jeez. Redstone alloy and electrical steel? That's not bad at all. I think that's a blueprint, though. Immersive engineering. Graphite electro? Sure. I don't know. I don't know what that does. I don't know if that's rare or not, either. All right. Well, I think we're just about exhausted here. I do need to come back with some diamond dollies, but that's going to be after... I'm going to have to make, like, an actual proper thing. I think I'm just going to make another expansion to the uh, mob farm at some point. That'll probably be the way, right way to do that. But let me go ahead, mark this on our map. So, waypoint, new, and then uh, deep, dark, fortress, humera uno. Save. Sure, you can be green. Why not? You can, you can be whatever color you want to be. And I should absolutely... <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's hard to find out where I came from, but I should I should probably mark this with a waypoint as well. I should probably do that. That would probably be wise. All right, and then... All right, up, 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 up. Let's make a new waypoint right here. Home. All right. Then up, up, up. Hit up that nice little bit of deep dark. Portal action. And then we can just drop all this stuff off into our lovely little ME system here. God bless the ME system, honestly. And then with all that in storage, let's actually pull Athena out of here. Athena, come back. Come back to us. All right, so we have everything. Oh, I, I also put away the meat. Steak, you're not done yet either. All right, let's put away that notch apple, which, by the by, guys, didn't even protect me when we used it. But we're going to go ahead, chompity chomp chomp, and let's actually go ahead and call a couple more critters here and there. I think that's going to be fair. And then we will be able 
to have a bit more experience, among other things. Little babies. Alright. Oh, are you broken? You're broken. You are. Oh, and it hit godlike! Oh, when did that happen? Okay, you hit godlike. I didn't even notice. Okay, so we have execution now at godlike status. I don't have any cobblestone in there. We can remedy that in a moment. Alright. So we got ourselves an executioner that needs to be repaired. All the way on up. Alright, executioner is in good shape. Let's put the magical wood in there for now. And then I guess what we're going to do right at this particular moment, I was actually kind of in the fence, but I'm pretty sure I want to just do it now. I say we just... Hmm. I don't know. That one scythe... Hmm. I don't I don't really think it's like it doesn't it doesn't really make sense to me. I'm gonna leave it in there for the time being. Let's take these unknown dimlets out and let's actually see. So these things is supposed to go into a dimlet researcher. So let me see what a dimlet researcher holy crap. <laughs> let's go see what a dimlet researcher requires. It requires an unknown dimlet, a machine frame, a resident comparator, and all this other stuff. Alright, so that seems fairly reasonable. I wanna research. I wanna see what we got. I wanna know if we got some cool stuff or not. Okay, that's a scrambler, that doesn't sound very good. Um Okay, unknown dimlets are only from drops, I suppose. Let's go ahead and make two comparators. Throw them back in. Machine frame. Throw that in. And then dimlet researcher. All right, cool. And then with this, we can go ahead and do a little bit of research on Reno's, if you know what I mean. And then you can sit right there, oh dimlet researcher. And you are needing power. Actually, do I have a Tesseract? Because we actually do need to put a Tessie there. We need to put a good old Tessie. I don't really. I, I am surprised. I thought we actually had them all kind of ready to go, but apparently not. All right, so we need to make some Endarium, quite apparently. So Endarium is going to require us to get Pyrothium as well as uh, whatever, yeah, Ender Pearls. All right, so I need Pyrothium, and I'm going to assumedly be bottlenecked by our darling friends, our darling, darling friends, the Blasted Sulfur. All right, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves some Ender Pearls. I'm just going to do it this way. Boop, 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 boop. All right, and then that into play. 64, 32, uh, 32, and then 16 into there. And that's gonna make our Endarium ingots, and then we're gonna go ahead and get this guy up and running soon. That should be grand, that should be great. And actually, when I think about it, I think our first set of bolts, eh, yeah, whatever. I suppose it doesn't really hurt us. We can use the stone bolts for now. Whenever we want to make really OP bolts. Ah, but we should make the OP bolts soon. We'll see. We'll see what we end up doing. Yeah. All right. We'll see. I was about to say we can we can just probably repair the. Oh, you can't repair material signalum. Hmm. I thought it was because we made the thing out of stone originally that it would work, but nope. Nope, with this big old side of nope. That don't work that way. All right, so into the there you go, Endarium base. We are going to need to make some more drives in the nearest future. Not quite yet, but getting there. Slowly but surely, we are indeed getting to that point. All right, well, that is cooking up. We just need one Tessie, that's all we need. So one Tessie frame. All right, and then Tessie Frame over and on into here. Let it fill up real quick. And then Tessie Frame is now full. Let's go ahead and drop in our Ender Pearls into there. 
And then we just have to go ahead and complete the Tessie by finishing it off. All right, there we are. So with this, you all now have your power source all over again. You will be configured to receive power and power alone. All right, power is now being received. Power is flowing in. Let's take a look. Okay, so we got a controller drive dimlet rarity one. Okay, so that seems to be a fairly common one. Dr. Dimlet, all right. A Biomega Tiger Dimlet. The Dimlet controls the biomes that can generate in a dimension that controller will, okay. All right, Rarity one. A Biomesa Bryce Dimlet. Generating a dimension that controller specifies, okay, cool. Ooh, our first non-one one. All right, Material Blue Stained Glass Dimlet. This is a modifier for terrain, tendrils, canyons, orbs, liquid orbs, or ore gen. Please dim us before the thing you want to change. Okay. Another controller magical dimlet. And a controller warm dimlet will affect how biomes are used. Okay, I don't know what a warm means. I mean, I know what warm is, but I don't know what that is. Red stained clay dimlet. Okay. All right. So we've we've gotten some dimlet stuff. I guess the question is, what do dimlets do? It looks like, oh, I saw a rarity six in there. Oh, <gasps> no way. Hold up, 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 hold up. Wait one minute. Liquid. Is this like, um, this is reminding me very, very strongly of that, uh, the portal thing, the thing that we messed with in Crazier Craft, the Miscraft. It's reminding me of Miscraft. That's what this is reminding me of. Oh, <gasps> we can get molten cobalt. But look at the RF per tick that needs. Holy goatfish. All right. Okay. All right. All right, game. You've caught my interest. You've caught my interest indeed. What is what is RF tools and why have I not heard of you? RF monitor, liquid monitor. Oh, we've actually <laughs> we use crafters from here. I'm assuming I think this actually makes dimensions. Interesting. All right, so this could be something to look into in the future. We can find liquid cobalt in here, which is pretty darn good, honestly. Like, there's liquid molten silver and whatever else, but we could theoretically, theoretically, we could theoretically take the liquids in here. Like, molten redstone alloy, that'd be lit. Liquid silicon? Yeah, the oh, they have all kind. They have liquid blazing pyrothium. Wait, can I turn that into? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Can I change liquid pyrothium into this pyrothium? Is that a thing? Okay, I can make a floor out of it. That's all fine and dandy, but I. I don't care about the floor, but I care about if I can make this into... No, okay, so there's no way for me to reconstitute it to make it... Okay, so that's not as cool. Mm. Okay, well, that is interesting. That is a very interesting discovery. Okay, so we have now found Dimlets, and I'm thinking it's similar to Miscraft, which, if I'm right, then that actually could mean some really, really cool stuff in terms of, like... If molten, if we can get molten like uh, cobalt, ardite, these kinds of things, we can make really, really sick tools. In addition to that, we also kind of, we have a couple of different options here. That could be a very end game thing. That actually might take 
more precedence over the moo fluids. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to definitely look into that. That's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to look into in the future, but we'll see. I'm not 100% sure on that, so we'll give that a little bit of time. It won't be in the immediate future, but I'll definitely look into RF tools at some point whenever I can sit down, research, learn a little bit more about how that all works, and then we can kind of get going with that. So that should be all fine and dandy. But man, this back line is getting destroyed by the trees. Hi. <laughs> Just random purple particles. I'm assuming that's from the uh, farming station, but still kind of kind of creepy. Kind of weird. All right, so everything. Oi! Oi! Hey! It's your growth pulse are out. Hi. That's not nice. I mean, I'm not, like, really hurting for, like, growth pulsers at the moment, but jeez. Have some decency. Freaking breaking growth pulsers, man. Alright, boop. Alright, we got ourselves our growth pulser here. I suppose this means that we should really build our tree farm elsewhere. That this is probably, this is probably not the best place to make a tree farm. Could, could potentially be what the game's trying to tell us. Good, could potentially be the problem. All right, well, any good doodles. I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, consider leaving a like rating down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys next time. And I think for next time, we're going to actually go into a little bit more Thomcraft stuff. Just a little bit. We're going to probably poke around a little bit in here just to kind of see what's going on and what all these businesses, because I'm kind of curious. Um, I think we might even actually just kind of move on towards a golem, even though... Realistically speaking, we don't quite need golems. Like, obviously, they're not really a huge dealio for us, but I think it would be nice to have a golem. Just to have a golem for having a golem's sake more than anything else. So, anyways, guys, take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye, bye.